Hello everyone, I have a review today, Technophone Nova 5 in a very unusual box. Look what shape it is, triangular, triangular box. The phone is something unusual, you must agree, the new product costs very nice money. About $160 version 8 128. There's also version 8 256, it costs about $20. $30 more expensive, that is, in principle for $200. You can even buy a version on 256 gigs or very budget prices now. This is why the Techno brand is gaining turnover due to their low prices. They give great features for small prices money and something unusual, both in design and they even made a box in the design unusual. So I took the black version. There was also a gold version colors. I decided to take dark 8 128 and here you can still expand the operational 8 GB memory will be about 16 GB how you don't need to open the box like this, and you need to open this back cover. It even says that please open the box of this side up, that is we take, we pull up so that nothing falls out, and here lies the phone itself, the phone itself. We'll get him now, so let's get the phone. Well, I should have thought then, I don't know why was this done. Guarantee 12 plus 1, that is 13 months paper user manual product certification information in the phone comes with a protective cover film, silicone case, fast charging 45 watt USB type, C cable and a paper clip to open the SIM tray here. Such an interesting delivery set here. All the advantages of this phone are described. Of course, the screen is cool and big, 120 hertz and battery boost, 6000 milliamp capacity and fast charging. And of course, the processor, too not bad for the money. Helio G99.6, a nanometer processor like this telephone. Everything is packaged cool. This is what I have. I wouldn't call it a full color black. Yes, probably such a dark blue gray, most likely. And as if it, a transparent lid like this inside cogs looks nice. Looks so, well, like some kind of spaceship. Some patches like that are cool. Looks, I like this design, but cameras. There are only two, that is, not three, not four, but only two modules, one and two. And here, this camera, you can immediately see that it is a camera, some kind of frivolous, very petty, well, most likely just for quantity. But the camera eyes are very large, supposedly cool. The cameras also have dual flash here. The back cover is glossy and very slippery, so I removed the stickers one and two. But the design agree, it's not boring, that's for sure. For me, it seems you won't forget him is for sale even more interesting colors. I took the very one standard means that by element there is a power button on the right side and the volume rocker isn't even a rocker. Two separate buttons, one minus button, plus on the left side, the SIM tray is at the top. This is along the speaker too, and at the bottom there is a connector for headphone jack for charging and speaker with a microphone. Everything you need is there. Yes, you know, the phone is so heavy and not to say that it's thin. Well, it's clear that here the battery is 6,000. So here is the thickness. Such a decent film is not glued to screen, but it comes with the kit. That is, you will have to glue the film yourself on the one hand. This is a minus, but on the other. At least thank you for putting it film, but it would be great if you, they already pasted it straight from the factory like this. Some other brands do. Well, not pasted. So not pasted. Maybe they, they think we'll want glass here stick. So I turn on the phone while it, it turns on. We need to see what's here. SIM tray taxi hammer. Here supports installation of two SIM cards. It's double-sided. Look here. Put two SIM cards signed 12. Turn the format over. And here it is. Still room for micro SD flash drive. That is, this triple tray is just a little different. The image is not long, but double-sided. So, well, so far, everything is just great. The phone turned on the phone I unlocked. And what I see here is the first, what catches my eye as soon as I... I turned it on, first thing right away. It seemed a little strange, large hole for front camera. Look, it's really cool. This is an IPS screen, not AMOLED. And it's big, the frames, that is, the side frames are too big. The bottom frame is so straight, and it's straight, you can feel it when you hold it in your hand. Look, it seems like, damn, oh, a little bit frames could be smaller. This is it catches the eye, but especially this. Here's the front camera. It's really very healthy on some Redmi laptops, these holes. They are already making more such narrow, beautiful ones here. She is healthy, but it's clean lucky from behind. I think he looks cooler, more modern than the front in front a little bit. So a little bit disappointing, well, quite literally, but it doesn't matter. Phone up to 20,000, it's probably not worth it either. Present some highly elevated requirements screen here, therefore, not here there will be something super intense. Color rendering on the contrary will be more like this natural color rendering possible. Put night theme, dark screen, healthy, diagonal, 6, 8 inches, and 120 hertz. Well, not so much from this screen, your eyes will get tired. There will be no shima. This screen will fade over time. There is auto brightness adjustment. Of course, you can change the screen timeout. 
15 seconds to 30 minutes adjustment frequency is also adjustable automatically, or 6090-120. There are forced three options to choose from vision protection mode. You can change colors, increase screen font size slightly. By the way, I would increase it, otherwise it's too something small on such a screen. You can put a bigger font, well, disable something in the status bar, for example. For some reason, it's here by default, internet speed is turned on. I usually, I disable a not very useful setting, although for many, this may probably be the case, will be useful for some purposes. So to the screen, I can say so too big, the frames are too big. This is the whole. And so the screen is normal, big, long, and I, I like that, it's IPS, because it's not, I would like everyone to move. Now, IPS lovers still need AMOLED, leave a few options so that they, could you buy a phone with IPS? The matrix for iron is installed here. Helio Processor G99 is well known to us. It has been installed for about six months a year now. Many such mass-produced Chinese phones, and he fits well in this one. That's the price segment. Even I would, he said, that this is very good for this price segment, is usually even processors, and weaker ones are charged for these money for $150,000, $160 is sometimes even possible. Meet Heli G88. Check out the new one, Redmi 12. There we have G88, which is one and a half times weaker than this processor. And here for $150, $160 already. G99 is really good. The processor for this money is 8 core, 2 powerful Cortex cores, 76 frequency, 2 gigahertz, 6 energy efficient Cortex cores, a 55 with a frequency of 2 gigahertz. But the most important thing about this, the processor is not even a core namely technical process that it has already been done according to modern 6 nanometer process technology, which doesn't consume much energy and which does not get very hot. This nice video core Mali-G 57MC2 internal memory FS 2.2 128 or 256 gigs, depending on which version choose, and 8 gigabytes of RAM. But it is expandable. By the way, this phone, it already works right out of the box, 2013 Android. By the way, yes, you can change it more buttons for gestures. If suddenly you are three, you don't like touch buttons. Control your phone with gestures already works on Android 13. Let me show you now what does it look like. General information about this phone version, S13. Android 13 version, expanding my RAM. Now it's on plus 5 gigabytes, but it's possible enable settings plus 8 gigabytes. You can also add 3 gigabytes in total. Can you disable this feature altogether? There will be only 8 gigabytes of its memory operational Helio G99 128 GB 6000. The battery is what distinguishes this one phone from a lot of other models. After all, almost everyone has a battery. 5000 is already here, 6000 is one more. Such a nice bonus piggy bank of this phone. What does this phone work? It will be really long during the work. I don't, I noticed no breaks because it's really good here. He is gaining productivity in Antutu, about 400,000 is enough now. And to play and just to have some applications to sit on ordinary ones, even here showed 433,000. Quite to himself, good result. NFC module, two important topic. Let's look at NFC modules here. Also available is also very nice. Cool, you can use contactless pay memory speed here is very, by the way, high for the standards. UFC 2.2 usually dials. They are about 500 megabytes per second read and write 200 and here 778 for reading is very good fast memory. But multi-touch notice that this brand often has multi-touch for some reason. They save money on it and don't put it at 10 touches A to 5. That is, you are here. You can control with only one hand. If the second you connect your hand, it's already the sixth touch. It no longer reads five touches. And while other phones have this money, 10 touches. Here are five touches, but five touches of these. No stain slowdown. Yes, they work normally smoothly, five touches, but honest ones without any problems. Five touches of the sensor. Well, throttling the test is just perfect. Even green, the schedule without much throttling can be only five. 10% maximum throttling. That is, the performance is not at all. The processor crashes and almost works always at your 100% performance and quite realistic. This use the phone specifically for gaming because this one has all the data phone, big screen, lots of memory, good performance, great battery to play for a long time, very useful high quality sound from in general, it's generally fun to play on this phone heating, know it all just a little, it can be felt somewhere up here, the front camera is just like that warm, warm phone, so we have cameras here, let's, let's figure out the rear cameras here. Resolution 50 megapixels and 0.008 megapixel portrait camera. 
That is, it's not wide, not macro. You can forget about the second camera because it's just the most classic so-called plug, as they say. Well, that is simple stuck some module here. Set it up to make it simple quantitatively more. In fact, here you have 150 megapixel camera too. I can't say that she's just super sophisticated without optical stabilizer, without optical zoom. Then there is the simplest 50 megapixel, the most budget camera, an 8 megapixel front camera that is, essentially, as you can see, they are not very cool. There should be a yes about the video recording. There is a full video here. HD 60 personnel. This is commendable because now not all Androids have this quality. There is even 2K 30 frames, but 2K is something it's not fish, it's not meat. It's like they're full HD, but at the same time, probably already. That is this. I don't understand something like this at all. Why do they do it? Well, they should have done it then 4K. I think it would be really real good detail. There is electronic stop. Electronic stop needs to be turned on here. You see a super stable picture. It turns out that is, in principle, enough functions to remove the good high-quality video, and even without any shaking. Yes, but if we turn on stop, then the number of frames is switched at 30. That's the feature. So often it happens. Turn on the mode. 50 megapixels is what it should be. Top configuration, top modification, top quality. Let's go. Now I'll try to take a photo of the text that is, well, the simplest one, primitive camera with good detailed. But still, you see, start, look closely, and don't say it's right. Super, everything is perfect. If we start super mode night like him takes pictures at night. Now let's check it out now since it's completely dark on the street. Extreme conditions for a budget. It will be very difficult to take a good photo. We'll see if he can handle it in these conditions. Or not. Here are a couple of pictures here I would said there is an effect. And such a certain one, watercolors. Yes, there is a paint effect. As if he painted everything with some kind of watercolor. As if it were a painting painted by pressure soap. Or one might even say not soap. And the masks really look like brushes. Some masks without much sharpness, without special... Well, like smeared watercolor on canvas. Do you see how the asphalt is so one shot, but overall, overall, this one, the picture turned out better here somehow. Everything lighter. Interesting moments here. We look here in this part of the frame. The grass is sharp focus. And here where the benches are, all their times were on as if, you know, like this made a smear with some kind of eraser. And here, for example, everything is blurry too. Here the path is kind of blurry, here it's blurry, it seems like it's already clear, that is, it seems like the same photo, but some area is cloudy and soapy. Yes, look, what is this? What is this? It really looks like paint on a painting. Some part of the photo is really very good, sharp detailed, that is, as if he doesn't take the whole frame perfect, and in pieces in pieces. But overall, so if you look again, I say, considering the cost of this phone, is $160, $150. This is a very good result for extremely bad conditions photographing mode Super Night. He really does good, bright picture compared with flagships. Naturally, he will lose. But when compared with competitors, this is pretty good. Solid result, it turns out. In general, everything is fine for the cameras here. It's real four. Strong points, four points, not five, but four. He gets 100% points, everything you need, that is, some basic functions you will have needs here satisfied to photograph something. Make a good video there at night, increased FPS. Even with stabilization, high detail, there is portrait mode. There is maximum zoom, tenfold. But digital, no width. Not then, there is no stub 4K recording. But this is typical for phones of this price category B. Everything is also quite normal. The sound here is stereo sound. And this is for me. I like it on phone surround sound. And the top speaker is not much quieter. A little louder as if this is the main speaker on top. Not much quieter. It's also quite loud. Is very spacious. I wanted to say my thought. I like it when in big phones with big screens with large batteries stereo sound because such a phone assumes that you will spend a lot of time behind him. Watch some movies play. And for this, you need, of course, good quality, good quality loud sound. That's why they made it here stereo. And this is also commendable, again, in phone categories up to 160 or even up to 200 stereo sound is far from, not everyone has every phone. For example, the new Redmi Laptop 12 from Xiaomi stereo sound, but Techno Nova 5 stereo. There is sound and of course a 6,000 battery milliamps, 45 watts fast charging 50. 
It can reach a percent charge in 21 minutes of charging if from 0 to 50%, the battery is fully charged in exactly one an hour in 60 minutes. Such a big battery, it only takes an hour to charge in principle. It is also not that big. So much for such a big battery, just one hour, one lesson, and 15 minutes school, it's me. All school lessons, I'm just remembering me from school. These lessons are 45 minutes long in general. 6,000 milliamps will allow you for two days. You can easily walk with it without recharging. That is, this phone is quite autonomous. And it's nice that you don't have to charge there several times a day or every day he even holds the phone battery as long. The result is what I can say. So phone, do you know this phone at all? It really worked out. You already know little by little, as if people start trying this brand, if no one really talked about him before, was interested. Now people understand that those windows they look out on are wildly profitable in terms of price quality ratio. People are simply compare with other brands, compare with their prices, the same Xiaomi. They have already become a more expensive brand than Tecna. Yes, it is. The brand is no longer as cheap as it used to be before. And now new ones are appearing, such daring young brands as it were Chinese brands that are conquering the market precisely because of its aggressive pricing. And like this top-for-your-money attitude, everything trying to make the top for their money, no one to please the user wants to spend big money on a phone, but at the same time, everyone wants to get the maximum from this money. Every dollar for a phone worked it out, and I think this one, the phone, is exactly like that. Well done, they did not make small options for memory. They have already removed these options for 6432 gigabytes. They understand perfectly well. People need 128 or 256 for additional fee. And the additional fee is not that big, like the same iPhones where the difference can be reached from $100. And here is the difference. There you already get $20 overpay version for 256 gigs. There is an overpayment in general small. There may even be meaning take just the 256 gig version if you need. You take a long time. If you don't want to use a flash drive, take it straight to 256 gigs, and you won't worry about it at all. Get high, also battery. I like that they are not afraid to make the phone a little thicker than competitors and a little heavier. Well, it weighs 219 grams if they did it. A 5,000 battery would weigh 200 grams per 20 gram less. Well, what would it play? Some significant role. No, I think that a bigger battery would be better. Let the battery be bigger. Well, let it be. It will be there a millimeter thicker and 20 gram heavier. It will still be almost imperceptibly and quickly. You'll get used to it, but you'll get used to the battery increased. You will be every day from to get high from this rather than from a little one, some kind of battery. That's why they're great. They don't regret they're not afraid to do it. Yes, the thickness here is nine millimeters. That is for the centimeter does not come out quite normally quite enjoy also stereo sound stereo sound is also nice to get cameras could have tightened it up a little bit although i i think the cameras are pretty good here too not bad for the money android is fresh the shell is normal that is well not i know why to find fault well maybe more frames yes the frames are a bit big this hole is what he looks like from behind quite interesting the case has a film there's a kit that is well Damn, I don't know what can I complain about. It's a really good phone for your money. I can recommend it for. This kind of money is really top for your money. Money comes out just like that. Top for your money if they don't pick it up price for it. If it costs about $150. $160, then this will be one of the most profitable phones are now fresh new from new models, precisely from new models that you can now take and advise people to buy new ones. So this is my opinion. On about this phone. It was Techno Nova 5. Write your opinion, what you think about this brand. I think that they, they make really good phones for their own. You can buy money for a coin. This phone is new and looks cool in principle. Everything will work as normal. Regular phone, enough for a few years. Everyone, good luck, everyone. Bye.